That same funny feeling flowed all over me. Now I'd like to know what it's like inside a man. If I find someone special, then I really can. At the press of a button, I can shrink to any size. All I need is someone who is interesting and wise. What about him? Watch that move that he makes. I must get inside that man no matter what it takes. It's a long way down to him lying on the ground. He won't believe his luck when he knows what he has found. If you'd like to know what he's like inside, stick around a while and I'll take you for a ride. Hello, it's me again, and I'm looking for a man. Well, I'm getting a bit bored looking around blood. Besides, I'm not really welcome there anymore. Not that I ever was, but now Blod is having a baby, remember? I should give her some peace and quiet, I suppose. So I need to find another victim. Any offers? Hey, what do you think? He could be interesting. Excuse me? I think I'll give it a try. Last time I managed to get into all sorts of places. I could tell exactly where I was by pressing a button. I wonder if it'll work inside a man. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? Hup. Ah, so far, so good. Don't worry, I don't think he can see me. Hmm. He looks quite healthy from the outside, don't you think? Oh, nearly went down. He's obviously ticklish. What do you think? Should we go in? Yes. This brings back memories. I think he's going to be a really interesting subject, you know. Just look at the inside of his mouth. It's gleaming. Not a rotten tooth in sight. Let's have a close look at his teeth. Can you remember why teeth go rotten? See this stuff here? This is plaque. Hey, what's what? going on? Uh, Who's there? I think I may have some explaining to do. <clears throat> hello? Hello? What do you mean, hello? Who are you? And where are you, anyway? Um, well, I'm sort of inside you. It's a long story, but if you ask Blod, she'll tell you all about it. Blod? You know Blod? Yes, you could say that. Listen, when was the last time you cleaned these teeth? They're lovely. Oh, what's your name, by the way? Hello? Hello? Oh, well, he's rather rude, isn't he? Anyway, as I was saying, plaque is made up of bacteria. Tiny, tiny creatures that live in everyone's mouth. See, if you look closely, you can see them moving. They don't make you ill, but if you eat lots of sweets and sticky things, the bacteria eat the sugar left over on your teeth and make acid, which burns a hole in the enamel of your teeth. It's important to watch what you eat and brush your teeth to get the plaque off. Look what happened to some people who didn't bother to look after their teeth. His teeth don't look too bad, fair play. I've seen a much worse. In fact, there's no sign of a rotten tooth anywhere. There's nothing better than a mouthful of healthy teeth. Hey, you. Does he mean me? Hello? Okay, I know all about you. Blod's told me all about it. So have I got plans for you? What do you mean? Take a look and see. This should sort you out. Oh, better have a look then, and I... Uh, excuse me. Oh, glad I'm not afraid of heights. It's lunchtime already. Oh, I see what you mean. What an appetite. Hey, what is your name, by the way? It's Bob. Ah! <sighs> Ow! Oh! His name's Bob. His name's Bob. Oh, oh well, I wanted to tell you about food anyway. Now is my chance. This is where it gets rolled into balls, remember? Before it gets swallowed! Oh, oh, ah! 
I'm being swallowed down the esophagus. Ooh. So what's in a meal? Bob, you seem to know what you're doing. Do you know what's in your meal? I should think I do. I want to know exactly what goes on in my body. Oh, trust me to choose a no-wall. Whoa! Hey, ah! Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say except what a wonderfully clever decision of yours to come into my cafe today. Obviously, you are children of the world. You know how to enjoy life. What can I get you from the magnificent menu? Yes, I know. The choice is amazing, isn't it? Let me help you. You see, to eat a healthy meal, you must have four things. That's why I named the cafe the Groovy Groups Cafe. Good, healthy food comes in four groups. Oh, yes, I see. Group one. Is that the bread and cereals and stuff? <laughs> it certainly is, sir. I could see you were the sort of man who uses loaf. Oh. And understand my corny jokes. <laughs> Every day you need to eat four things from this group. Four? Oh. Yes, indeed. Let me show you the variety of things I have on offer. Potatoes, roast and mashed. Potatoes, boiled and baked. All sorts of pasta. Rice, brown and white. Bread, brown and white. More bread, fruit bread. Here you are, then. An excellent choice. Can we see the debut group next? <laughs> All right, don't push me one group at a time, young man. What do you fancy then, this? Yoghurt, fromage fray, all sorts of cheeses, parsley sauce, yoghurt and mint dip, milkshakes, all flavours. Or I could bring you a tot of the raw material straight from the cow. Well, more or less. <laughs> Then there's the fruit and veg group. Oh, my favorite. You need four a day from this group, too. Leek, carrot and cabbage, baked beans, mixed salad, ratatouille. What's the meat and things group, then? Ah, I thought you'd ask. You need two from this group every day. This is the elite group. This group has meat and fish and beans in it and contains protein. Very important. Beef burger, salmon, chicken curry, mixed bean chili, roast chicken. Put them all together and you have a full, healthy and delicious meal. So what do we want? Food! What sort of food? Food from the Groovy Groups Cafe! Yeah! Hello, I'm in the stomach with the balls of food. The food from the four groups gets churned up in here with the acid and starts to get broken down into smaller and smaller bits. And in here, in the small intestine, it gets broken even smaller until it is so small that the good bits, the nutrients, can pass into the blood vessels through the walls here. Anyway, while you've been away, I've been making a study of Bob's lunch. Food stays in the stomach for about three hours, you know? And Bob's stomach can hold about 1.5 kilograms of food. I think he must be trying to break a record. Did he have food from all four important groups? Let's look and see. I've been making myself at home here. On this table is the meat and things group. Let's have a butcher's at this then. Bob had a piece of chicken for lunch, so that group's covered. Should have one more serving from this group today, and he's okay. This group has protein in it. Protein is good for you as you grow. Of course, this group has lots of other things in it too. I'd be making a study. There's some fat. Mustn't have too much of that. And of course, some vitamins. Very handy chemicals in the body. Vitamins are very important. Let's move on to the fruit and veg group, because they are very full of vitamins. And that's why it's important to eat at least four things from this group every day. Vitamins can stop you getting ill, and they help your skin look good and make you feel good. How did Bob do then? Well, he had loads of peas and sweet corn. Not to mention the carrots. That's three vegetables, so he only needs to eat one more from this group today. A bit of fruit would be a good idea, Bob. 
Listen, you weren't here for breakfast, were you? Yes, yes, all right. Can you think of other foods that contain vitamins? Why not take a look at packets of cereal, for example? Right, some potatoes came in, too. Which group does that belong to? Why don't you make a chart of the foods that you eat today and decide whether you are having enough food from each group? Are your school dinners cool dinners, for example? Our dinners are cool dinners because they're healthy. I think they're always fresh. The people of our school always give us healthy meals for us to eat. I think they're delicious because they cook them very nicely and they have my favourite foods. I like the apple, but after. What I like about my school dinners is the fresh brown bread. They're all nice and cool. Bob likes peas. I've counted 32 so far. What's your favourite vegetable, and how would you like to eat it? Using a teaspoon, scoop the centres from the courgette halves. Set the shells aside and chop the remaining flesh before placing in a small bowl with some bacon, onion and herbs. Cover and cook for three minutes. Then stir in fresh white breadcrumbs, egg yolk, stock, salt and pepper before filling one half of each courgette shell with the stuffing. Place the other halves on top and secure with wooden cocktail sticks. Place the filled shells in a shallow dish and cook for nine minutes. Leave to stand for three or four minutes before serving. A former Olympic gymnast's favorite vegetable dish. Do you have a favorite recipe? In a salad bowl, mix together finely chopped celery diced apples, low-calorie mayonnaise and natural yoghurt. Chill for 30 minutes. Just before serving, add some walnuts. The favourite dish of an international athlete and Welsh international rugby player. These posters have been designed to encourage people to eat certain foods. Little children sometimes refuse to try some foods, foods which are really important. Can you think of foods that you don't eat which would do you good? And can you think of ways to persuade young children to give some foods a chance? How are you doing, Bob? Nice bit of lunch. Still here then, are you? What a surprise. Well, I'm doing a bit of redecorating while I'm here. You don't mind, do you? I'll tell you one thing, though, Bob. You're a bit short on dairy products. You need three things every day. Yes, as I said, you weren't here for breakfast, were you? Breakfast is my speciality. I never miss it. <laughs> the last lot of Bob's food into his small intestine. Uh, bit 
of a know-all is our Bob, isn't he? Not a bit like blood. Uh, uh. Bob? What's the matter with you? Uh, don't feel very well. What do you mean you don't feel very well? You're extremely healthy. I've had a good look round and believe me, you're extremely fit. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sick, to tell you the truth. I think I've got a touch of food poisoning. Food poisoning? Oh, no! Sometimes when we eat, little germs get in with the food. Germs make the body ill. They act like poisons and the body tries to get rid of them. That's why you must be very, very careful when you handle food. You must try your best not to let germs get in. <coughs> oh, 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 no. I think that Bob's stomach is going to squeeze very hard and try and throw everything out. I think I'll be going too. Oh, poor Bob. <coughs> poor me. How can you make sure that germs don't get inside you? What's she checking then? See if you can spot some mistakes here. Hasn't he forgotten something? Bob's better, thank goodness. You okay, Bob? Oh, yes, thanks. It was the sausage I ate last night. It wasn't cooked properly, was it? Can you think why that would have made him ill? Anyway, he's feeling sorry for himself, but apart from that, he's fine. Better leave him in peace till next time. Mm -hmm. Now, where's the best place to set up camp, do you reckon? Bob is going to be a very interesting subject, so I think I'll hang on for a while. I know. I think I'll pitch my tent on his tongue. It's big enough. See you next time. It's been a pleasant journey, right from the start. To wander through your various bits and get to every part. Your mouth's so clean, I made it my camp. It gets a little rough, it's often rather damp. Your kidneys were amazing, your stomach's a treat. Your bladder wasn't funny, but your liver was neat. Exercise makes your muscles so strong. Your bones are hard, I could find nothing wrong. I went to see your lungs, they're nice and pink. I visited your brain, I watched you think. Bob, it's been nice to visit you and see that all is hunky-dory and you're healthy. Two.